on, girl. This morning, what we're going to do is we're going to go out and tranquilize Bruce, and we're actually going to bring him in and try to collect more semen out of him. What I do like, since he's the best buck I've ever raised, is I want to get enough semen in the tank so I can breed him for multiple years. So we have Nate Walton, which worked on the farm for a number of years. He's back helping. Uh, we have Jacob here, which is brand new, so he's never experienced any of this. That's Miley. And Scott's only experienced once. Well, things are not going according to plan. So we were trying to dart Kaiser first, and he seems to be a little uptight, and the does are really uptight. The biggest thing is the wind, the wind where we have to dart from is blowing right into their face. And they don't like people. So, so we left him to settle down, and we just came over and actually darted uh, Bruce. So we're going to do collect Bruce first. We get down to the gate, and I realize he's not out uh, like he should be. And so now all of a sudden, it gets very serious. Who's going with me? You going with me? Here we so now we have to give him more tranquilization drug. I'm gonna give it by hand, just in an injection. I'll sneak up behind him. But now all of a sudden, the joking's done. We need to be quiet. We need to be on, on target because the longer a buck is under, the greater chance he starts to urinate and that ruins the semen. Well, the big thing about today also is we have not shown any pictures of Bruce. Um, nobody has seen him. Nobody knows anything about him. Um, there's going to be a lot of shock because he does not look anything like he used to look the year before or the year before that. So um, this this will be a, an eye opener just to see the junk that's up on his head. So now, now you look at this and go, okay, now that he's gone non-typical, why would I collect semen out of this buck and store it for later use? Well, genetically inbred into Bruce is totally typical. This big seven by seven typical frame, tw over 29 inches inside spread, that's the genetics in the deer himself. The injuries only cause the non-typical structure for one year. If we keep Bruce healthy, he will come back next year at age five, very typical. So I want the semen out of him because he's a typical buck, even though for one year, his antlers do not show that. No, just lift with his antlers. Stand up, Nate. Stand up and just lift with his antlers. We gotta tuck it. Let's switch him. We gotta get his legs that way, guys. Under. Not over. Hold on. 
Explore that forward. Good. Rolling. Okay, now. Get him out of the stretcher. Hold on. Two, three. Perfect. Mm, that hurts the hand. Once we get him onto the mule and we can get moving, the vibration and the noise of the machine normally helps the deer go to sleep. Well, now that we have him in the facility, and, and for the first time, I and Karen and even the workers and the staff can really look at, we call it the damage to the antlers that the foot injuries did. And we could really dissect it. I mean, there's a lot of antler there, but there's no uniformity to it. Um, but who we've brought in is Advanced Deer Genetics. Now, I've worked with them since the beginning of artificial insemination, so it's been 20 plus years. What's this book? This is Bruce. Bruce? Bruce, yep. I'm a little nervous at this point because there's always this slight chance that something could go wrong with the deer itself. And what's happened is he injured, and I'll show you a couple of the injuries. You got it? One was here, but he actually broke his toe in half on both both feet um, they're healed up now but this one he had snapped literally right in half it re-healed we actually put an artificial toe on there out of glue same thing with this one you can see it's still growing out but he snapped it in half so by damaging both front feet it messed up his antlers because it was in the velvet he had just started growing um, quite a mess so it messed him up for this year hopefully i'll come back typical What's interesting is we bring them into the facility, the scent collecting facility, and, and we're full go. This is the end of October, 1st of November, and we have a lot of new staff members. One, they've never seen a buck of this size up this close. Most of them have never seen antlers that are so messed up like this, and then they've never seen the collection process. Um, to some of them, it was kind of like, ooh, I'm not sure about this. Others, it was very interesting. It was good for everyone to experience not a, a different part of what this deer farm does other than just the scent. And so to bring Bruce in and do that and finish and everything went well, it was a great learning experience for the new staff members here at Conquest Sense. I'm going inside. Get the antler off there. Just slide the stretcher all the way up to where Well, once we got him out to his pen, we reversed him, and, and it took him a little longer to wake up and kind of get back into rhythm again uh, than normal. We're gonna show you some footage of him here in the spring at year five, and he's coming out very typical again. He's going wide, uh, everything's going back to normal. So. Bruce is doing fine. He's still here on the farm. Hopefully he puts that seven by seven frame back on again. If you enjoyed this episode, subscribe. You can also follow us on social media. And also we have a live camera out in one of our deer pens that you can watch 24 seven. And we'd love to have you watch what's happening on Conquest Deer Farm.